Muscle Cars Universe. On the brink of the 60 years anniversary of the Ford Mustang, we celebrate the 44th New Zealand National Mustang Convention, a spectacular gathering of unmistakable automotive heritage to celebrate the iconic model that made Ford go mainstream. Members from all seven Mustang clubs of New Zealand converge every year in a different city to revive the spirit and lineage of a bygone era. For this 2023 edition, the designated hosting club is the Auckland one, with over 300 members under its belt. The venue has been turned into a true paradise for car lovers, whether it's old or new generation Mustangs, restored, classic, modified, we got it. Shelby, Roush, Hurst, Boss, Cobra Jet, we get to see them all under one roof as a true celebration of what made the history of American Automotive. Let's go take a closer look at what makes this convention tick, starting from the outdoor hard park. Really cool rides. Look at that. That's nice. Wow. Quadruple Webers. Nineteen sixty six fast back. It's a boss three oh two with a three forty seven stroker kit. Very nice. Eight inch diff. Beautiful car. Very nice build. We got um, some machine parts here. Very cool detail. And here another 66 fastback. It's for sale. Let's go. Those are New Zealand dollars, guys, before you get a heart attack in US watching this video. 66 Ford Mustang Fastback. Beautiful. Got well, heaps of new schools, clearly. But I'm more of a old school guy. Look at the beauty of the Fastback design. Wow. Tons and tons of cars, 70 fastback, 351, another 67 here, 289, lots of 289s today. More and more new schools, Shelby GT500, a Penske GT, all right. That's cool. And here a 70 fastback together with a uh, 67 notchback. The embodiment of the uh, American classic car dream. Everybody wants a Mustang, whether you like it or not. You've got to have one. Wish you were here, guys. This is an amazing sight. Look at that. New Mac one, which I really like the color scheme and everything. Very cool. With the matte gray wheels on orange accents here and there very well executed Ford heads off to you another 67 notch back here nice great titanium gray I gotta say I haven't found many late 90s Mustangs like this one here at the convention we were here yesterday live streaming the cars rolling in and populating the arena which I will take you to in a few moments just enjoying here the hard park 
in front of the Expo Center. 68. A few more new schools. And what do we have here? Around the 69 there. A 71 convertible. This is probably the same one I spotted at previous car events around the area here. <laughs> Stunning, eh? All blacked out. Another 68. Shelby, GT, and a 351 Cobra Jet. Mark one, nineteen seventy one. Actually, this is a later model than seventy one, probably a seventy two, seventy three. It's got a bit of a different details than that. Very nice. We start here with this beautiful Saline limited edition. That's, that's a beautiful body kit. Not just rare, but um, very cool. Stunning car. And this eight second Monster 69 Fastback. This one is uh, a very loud one, I can tell you that. Beautiful. Here we have two very um, special ones. Two very special cars. We start from this 1 of 50 Hearst Special Edition. Supercharged with this very unique color combination, which was, by the way, picked by the owner, Craig, the president of the Auckland Mustang Club. And the uh, unforgettable orange 427, amazing 69 Fastback, also owned by Craig. Not sure what they're doing in the engine bay, <laughs> but this car has been spotted many, many times before at previous events. And let's continue here with the supercharged Shelby. A Mach 1, beautiful rides, the bonnet open, and the graffiti is there on the wall. Really, really cool presentation here at the Manukau Arena. Two plus two, 65, restored. Another late 90s here, an RTR, the one we were filming yesterday in the live stream. 2003, P51 GT, another 15, 1969 Mark 1 with a 351 four valves looks really really stock beautifully restored I guess not too sure if it was restored or anything and here beautiful another beautiful 69 351 stunning What can you say about that GT350 finished in this beautiful color? Wow. I think I prefer the most about the 69 Shelby is the rear. Oh, there you go. The rear exhaust. Look at that. Beautiful. 
timeless design masterpieces. It's a four speed manual as well. And then a couple of more new schools here with the GT500 supercharged. It looks like a lot of power to me. Just about here, we start with the uh, proper indoor showcase with people and great cars. Incredible to see it like this, considering yesterday it was all empty. Let's go through all the cars, shall we? We start here with this 70 Mustang Fastback race car, taking a 427. Beautiful sound, amazing setup. Something everyone would want in their garage, isn't it? Look at that. Then we have this 65 GT with all the uh, proper show car treatment. The mirror, glass, everything. Wow. Beautiful. It's actually a um, Mustang GT K code with a 29. And then here, obviously, it cannot be a Mustang convention without an Eleanor replica. This one is actually packing a Boss 280. New school engine. How can you not like an Eleanor replica? Wow. What a special place to be, guys. Wow. As special as they come. California special. Here you go. I was told that uh, this car was actually repainted, so it's not in its original color. But it's cool to see that it's got a, an actual Ford air conditioner. Which for the era was quite an option. And from this California special we go to a Another special edition, a GT 500 KR, 40th anniversary, 2008. Beautiful car. Let's continue with this. Sally, <laughs> two-door, 67, convertible, 289. Another 66, this time a uh, two plus two. Another 289, as I said, this was the most common entry level engine um, that was provided by Ford for the Mustang and now possibly one of my favorite new schools the Golf livery 2020 GT look at that amazing even the picture there with the GT40 that's so cool who doesn't like a Golf livery Nice billet wheels, very cool orange accents on a baby blue main color. And as much as they did with the bullet special edition, you have a dedicated emblem there and carbon fiber all around. Very nice, very, very nice, beautiful car. Got more new schools here couple of notchbacks, I mean convertible and a notchback. <laughs> and a P51A Roush dedicated to the uh, aeronautics of the era. You know better than me. World War II Mustang P51A. 
357th Fighter Group. Lots of cool historical references here. The miniature for reference. And the, uh, the checkered flag reprising the uh, propeller in front of the P-51. Very nice. And the badge, yeah. Next up is a 428R, 2008. With a chrome supercharger, very nice, from Roush. It's a genuine. Only 200 build. And then the other, <laughs> crazy to say, the other California special. Incredible to have two of them in New Zealand under the same roof. That's what I call a Mustang convention. This is the one with the original paint here today. Look at the uh, amazing ducktail, the Shelby rear tail lights. That's amazing. These one also have a stock Ford air conditioner. How cool. Then a 69 fastback. A cool 351. And the um, unforgettable 1978 King Cobra packing a 302 8-inch diff only one of almost 5,000 King Cobras made with a miniature there that's awesome presentation guys well done love it love it what do we have here? Original bill of sale, thirty-six hundred dollars. Thirty-six, yeah. Wow. Back in nineteen seventy-one, I guess. I can't find the date. Marty Artworks, the Marty Report. Very nicely presented. Pro comp air filter. Very cool strut tower braces. Air conditioning, wow, 9 inch Ford, very nice. 670 CFM carburetor and lowered suspensions, wow. This is from the Bay of Plenty Mustang Club. That's, that explains why I never seen it before. Look at the lines, wow. Here we have another convertible and a Shelby GT500 KR, another KR. Lots of rare cars today, wow. 2009, the other one was a 2008. Now my favorite car of the show. This very rare Shelby GT350. It's only one of 1100 build. Amazing forest green color. It was actually repainted at some stage in the 80s. It's a four speed manual as well. A very, very rare car. <coughs> the iconic rear end. Stunning. Then another Pony 66 with a 289, in this case a uh, notchback, and then a new school. We'll get here to the sportier version of the 2020 Shelby GT500. Very cool presentation. With the, uh, the snake, <laughs> very nice. 
Careful, it bites. Another 71, a boss this time. 351, looks pretty stock. Beautiful top loader. And a um, extremely personalized 2005 GT. Straight out of the tuning era, I guess. Early 2000s. And then a 64. This is a 64 and a half with, yeah, 29. This car was actually spotted before at Beach Hop many, many times. Very cool presentation with the LEDs. Really cool 67. Then a Boss 302 2012 Laguna Seca Special Edition. As far as the other special editions go, this one also has the uh, dedicated badge at the back. And then this car that really made an impression yesterday when he was coming in. 72 Mustang Sprint. Something I never heard of before. Two valve 351 and probably one of the coolest American inspired color schemes with the um, the flag colors down here just that subtle accent makes everything special oh yeah and uh, the rear panel as well look at that very cool very nice car you can see it does all the uh, all USA day the bunting very nice. Oh, of course, in the bonnet. Beautiful color scheme, I really like it. And here we have a um, Super Snake 2020, I think. Maybe 2022. Magnuson Supercharger. This is a beast. 1000 horsepower, imagine that. How do you even drive it? It must be a handful, isn't it? Really cool wheel and tire combo. Huge brakes. Massive wheel arches, you can see how wide that is. Not making this up. It's not the camera, it's the car. It's got some 345s at the back on a 20 inch wheel. Wow carbon fiber accents the works stunning car 1000 horsepower super snake and a Celine wow this is also a rare one Celine supercharged Look at the body kit, wow. The whole rear tail lights recessed in. And the same wheels that we found on the one at the entrance. It's just that this is not a convertible. We have a Ford GT, I guess. Another GT. Pony. Convertible. And these cars are shiny, very shiny. And a GT500, Shelby. Another one. Incredible to say, another one. But yeah, this is the power of the Mustang convention. Summoning only the best cars in New Zealand. Beautiful 289. 
convertible with a cream top. Amazing. This is the old girl that I featured on my channel a few months ago. I'm glad to see that it's sold. I already met with the new owner and the old owner that obviously are here today. If you haven't watched it, go have a look at the uh, special feature of this car. Beautiful 390, matching numbers. The most interesting thing about this car is the fact that it's a numbers matching uh, S-code 390. And it has been kept matching numbers. So if you just remove the body kit, you can return it back to standard. So that, to me, is added value compared to uh, other cars that get completely stripped and modified to the bone. Such a cool front end. Look at that. Wow. Here we have a uh, late 90s Mustang SVT cool wheels from Model Art. Very nice. And now we can concentrate on the middle aisle starting with this 06 GT and then this beautifully painted and presented 67 pegging a 289 So the funny part about being around this car when people are here is that everyone seems to be commenting about how shiny it is and it really is shiny literally leaves you speechless 67 notch back beautiful color scheme gold and green but it's really really shiny I saw the judges with a uh, torchlight just before and it's a four-speed manual as well and then we continue here with this Roush 2014 I actually met with the owner He's really happy about it. He likes the sound he makes when it does the cold start. Boss 302. 68. 289 again. And a GT350. 1969 convertible. Beautiful car, eh? Look at that. Just incredible to see all of them here. Everywhere you turn your head, there's Mustangs. Wow. Then after this GT350, we go to a 69 Fastback Boss 302. Hurst Shifter. Stunning. <laughs> It's a 70. Oh, sorry. It's not a 69. Apologies, guys. And a Cobra. Another GT. Another GT. And something very powerful, I guess. Judging by the engine bay. Super Snake. There you go. I'm not sure if this one already had a thousand horsepower back then. I should be closer to that. And then right after the Super Snake, we get to uh, one of the queens of the show. Another 67 Shelby. Look at that. Wow. This was actually a barn find in 2007 was completely restored to its immaculate current condition. Not much I can add to this beauty. It truly speaks for itself. Wow. Cool plate, snake venom. <laughs> Very nice. And we have literally a uh, another Shelby just beside it. A bit more recent. 
with a uh, very bling supercharger. Very nice. And another GT here, a Boss 302 from 2013. A bullet. Oh, this is cool. I've seen many bullets replicas and special editions, but never one that was from the 2000s era. Very cool. That's really cool. Wow. First time seeing one. Didn't even know it, they existed from back in 2000. With the rear louver as well. <laughs> nice. Like it. This is apparently a limited edition. Carnelli. Oh, it's a Celine. All right. As I said, guys, most of my videos are first time impression. I don't script anything in my videos, I just go with the flow and you follow along. Hope you're enjoying it. 1970 Boss 302, both of them beside one another in Grabber Orange, the most famous color from Ford back in the days, at least the most distinctive, I would say. Beautiful car, amazing to see both of them like that. And then 74, we got another. 74 78 here together with the king cobra we just saw before lots of bling lots of shine very cool this is a sunroof one ha oh, who knew seventy four mark two it looks almost like one of those Japanese cars, eh? Oops, I didn't say that. <laughs> and then a 69. This is actually a pretty famous car around here in the area. I filmed it many times. And then right after that, a 68 GT350. No. We've got the original bill of sale, the Marty report. Wow. 68 is so different, eh? With the, uh, the front. The front end like that. And the rear section with the tail. in black you know how hard it is to keep it clean and this one is clean so and now here the third <laughs> super snake here at the show that looks like a lot of horsepower to me Really cool, wow, look at that. Very nice wheel and tire combo again. All shiny, eh? And now for the last part, the last row here, we we'll start with this 86 GT. The year I was born. <laughs> Imagine that. Looking at the color scheme and the fact that it's a convertible with a cream top, you wouldn't really look misplaced in Miami driving this in the 80s. That's <laughs> so cool. Wow. The proper 80s craze. That's amazing. It's a five speed manual as well. So that's quite interesting. And then a 68 302 fastback. Very nice. Mark 1 here, a 351 69 fastback, all polished up, very cool, wow, polished with white exteriors, just amazing, and this is actually a pearl white, I don't know if you can catch it, but it's wonderful, it's a pearl white. Same, same, 
such an incredible opportunity being here, guys, with all these beautiful cars. Then we have another 74, 75 Mustang. He looks so different, eh? Wow. And a uh, Shelby here being judged. On the GT. And a limited edition 50 years pony. We finish here with the last three cars. I believe this is a bullet edition. Looks like by the color of it. Let me see. I think it's a bullet. What do you guys think? Yes, of course, of course. On the money. There you go. And a convertible 66. And look at the fastback. Wow. Dark blue 67. What an amazing piece of engineering. Packing a 29. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning.
and that's all for today guys thanks for watching and a huge thanks goes to the Auckland Mustang Club especially to Craig and Diana for their kindness and positive approach in allowing me to attend and be a public speaker at their monthly club meeting it was an unprecedented opportunity to connect network and most of all find like-minded individuals like us classic car enthusiasts and muscle car lovers if you enjoyed this video hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already this is Andy from Muscle Cars Universe I'll see you at SEMA show next week be ready it's gonna be great